Lane, thank you so much. Now, protesters are continuing peaceful demonstrations here in the capital city as well. 13 News reporter Cassidy Wood has their story. Cassidy. Lily, the protest here in the capital city began at around noon today. And as you can see behind me, there are still two people here. And just a couple minutes ago, we saw several people still protesting, walking down behind me right here. And take a look at what it looked like earlier today. Angry and concerned West Virginians marching around the city of Charleston's police station. This protest comes roughly one week after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. We are one blood. Speakers sharing their stories and voicing their concerns about racism in America. I want to apologize on behalf of white supremacy. We're stamping out racism. Marlon Collins stood on the stairs of the city building. Make sure that we get awareness out about the reality of racism, systematic oppression, that we actually uh, keep on message, uh, that there is a way to get rid of it, and we have a responsibility as Americans to stamp it out so it does not exist. This protest stayed peaceful. I think it has a lot to do with, with the culture of, of Charleston. But several protesters say although it's a more peaceful demonstration here in West Virginia, there are still problems here. Regardless of uh, the beautiful people here, we have to have some very hard conversations or this is going to keep happening. And it doesn't mean that Charleston can't be the epicenter of something like George Floyd. So we have to be proactive in making sure that everybody understands where we stand. This is what America is supposed to look like. This is when America is really great. Everybody's on the same page about the same evil, and we recognize it and we're willing to do something about it. Now, even though the protest did end today, there is still plans for another event next week. And also on July 7th, there will be a blackout day where a lot of people will not be spending a dollar to see how that affects the economy. For now, live in Charleston, I'm Cassidy Wood, 13 News, working for you. Cassidy, thank you so much. Now, Mayor Amy Schuler Goodwin and Chief Ty Kant released statements regarding today's protest. Mayor Goodwin says, quote, I appreciate those who made their voices heard today and kept today's protest outside of City Hall peaceful. We as a nation need to do more listening, especially in these uncertain times. Chief Ty Kant said the following, quote, the unfortunate death of George Floyd was due to an officer's poor tactics and decision making. He went on to say the officer was obviously in the wrong, and he prays that none of his officers ever think the actions in this scenario were acceptable. 